Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on multiplying a decimal by an integer, where integer just means whole number. So we've got a decimal times by a whole number. Now, I'm going to write out the steps and then we're going to carry them out. So step one is to just ignore the decimal points. We all kind of unignore them later. Step two is just multiply the numbers as if they were whole numbers because we're ignoring the decimal point. And then step three is adjust for the movement in decimal points. And I'll explain what that means. So, if I ignore the decimal point here, that's just 108 times four, so let's do that. So 108 times four, eight times four is 32. We put the two there, carry the three. Zero times four is zero, plus the carried three is three. And one times four is four, so we get 432. Now, the last part is adjust for the movement in decimal point. Well, it wasn't 108, it was 10.8. So we count from the end of the number how many times the decimal point moves. So we had one decimal place move here, and here, well, we did have four, we didn't have to change that number, so there's no movement there. So in total, if the decimal point is moved from the end of the number once, then starting from here, from the right, we move the decimal point once. So we get 23.2 would be the answer. Let's do that for the second one. 6.825 times seven, we ignore the decimal point first, so we just treat it as 6,825 times by seven. So five times seven is 35, so we put the five, carry the three. Then we do the two times seven, that's 14, plus the three is 17, so we put the seven, carry the one. Eight times seven is 56, plus the carried one is 57, so we put seven and carry the five. And then six times seven is 42, plus the five is 47. So we get this number here, 47,775. Now, the last point is to adjust for the movement in decimal point. Well, we did 6825, 6825, but the decimal point is actually here. So counting from the end where the decimal point was in our number here, that's one jump, two jumps, three jumps. And there's no jumps here because seven stayed at seven. So from the end of this number, starting here, because the decimal point starts after the units digit, we do one jump, two jumps, three jumps, so we get 47.775. And let me just put the decimal point back where it was. Uh, and let's just check this is sensible. This number is roughly seven, and seven times seven is 49. So expect the answer to be around 49, and indeed it is, it's 47 point something. So it's the right kind of scale. So it's always good to do a common sense check on your answer. Just like here, 10.8 is roughly 11. 11 times four is 44, and the answer is roughly 44. So it's the right kind of ballpark.